The makers of Alka-Seltzer bring you Lum and Abner. I wonder what's going on down in Pine Ridge right now. Of course, we'll find out in just a moment, right after I give all you folks a most timely tip. If the changeable weather we've been having recently has caused you or any member of your family to suffer with a miserable cold, right now is the time for you to get acquainted with the modern, pleasant, Alka-Seltzer way to relief in cold distress. Listen, here's a mighty effective way to take care of that cold. At the first sign of distress, start at once to take common sense precautions. Get plenty of rest, more than usual. Dress sensibly, eat only easy-to-digest foods, and take Alka-Seltzer. Yes, follow the easy, simple directions in the Alka-Seltzer package, and you'll be surprised how promptly and pleasantly you can ease the distress and discomfort of a cold. Use Alka-Seltzer for that sore throat, too. Just dissolve two tablets in a quarter glass of warm water... And use as you would an ordinary gargle. The modern Alka-Seltzer way to relief in cold distress is easy. It's pleasant. It's really effective. Be sure to try it, won't you? Remember, you can get Alka-Seltzer tablets at all drugstores. And now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lum and Abner's new bank, which they are now operating in connection with the Jotham Down store, is slowly getting underway. Friday and Saturday, they received a few new accounts and now boast of deposits totaling over $400. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Abner down in the vault. Lum is just entering the store. Listen. Abner? Hey, Abner. Here I am down here. Well, what are you doing down there around that vault? Wait a minute. You ain't rigging up another burglar alarm, are you? No, sir. I'm just down oh, here. What in the world do you think you're doing? Painting a safe. Just finished it. Well, I'll be dead blamed. We just painted it the other day. Yeah, but we painted it black long. Well, that don't look like no safe the way you got it dabbed up there. What kind of a design do you call that, anyway? All them different colors, anyway. That's what you call camouflage. Camouflage? Yes, sir. That's the way the government paints all their boats and airplanes and stuff like that so the enemy can't see them. Well, what's that got to do with a bank safe? I've got it to where the bank robbers can't see it. Can't see it? You could see that thing a mile off. Red and green and every other color. My dog is, I believe it does look plainer from up here now than it did when it was black. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Best thing for you to do is get some more black paint and paint it over again. Yeah, maybe so. I'll have to wait till that dries, though. It's one too goodness. It's got to where I can't leave this place for five minutes without you doing something wrong. Well, you made me take that burglar alarm off. I was just trying to study up something to make the bank safe for our depositors. Just trying to help. Yeah, and if you'd quit trying to help, we'd get along a heap better. Got two of my best suits of clothes sopping wet the other day at that burglar alarm. You said you wouldn't bring that up no more, Long. I don't like to hurt your feelings, Abner, but I believe I better look after the bank and you take care of the store. Well, it's just as much my bank as it is yours. Yeah, but both of us cashing checks and taking in deposits, we never will be able to keep things straight around here. We're still $8.40 off from Saturday. Oh. Yeah, we got $8.40 more than we ought to have, according to the books. Well, good. Good for us. Good? Why, sure. We're ahead that much, ain't we? Yeah, but we beat somebody out of it. We either shortchanged somebody when we cashed a check for them, or somebody deposited some money and we never made out no slip for it. Well, maybe we just made that much out of the bank loan. Profits. No, couldn't be. The only way a bank can make any money is to loan money. We ain't loaned but $20, and we won't make no interest on that for six months yet. For six months? Yeah. That loan I made finest Bradley. He's supposed to pay the interest every six months. Well, how long did you loan it to him for? Well, we never set no particular time. He said he didn't know when he could pay it back. Yeah, well, supposing he don't pay for three or four years. Well, that's the way we'll make our money. The longer he keeps it, the more interest he'll have to pay. Eighty cents every six months he'll have to pay us. Eighty cents? Yes, sir. Twenty dollars at eight per cents, a dollar and sixty cents a year, and half of that makes eighty cents every six months. 
You mean we're going to have to keep this bank open, work here every day for six months just to make 80 cents? And he said, don't sound like a whole lot, does it? Well, suppose he pays it before the six months is up. Don't get no interest at all, I reckon. But I don't think we'll have no trouble with that. You know that finest, what a deadbeat he is. He never pays nothing back. Now, that's what I thought Saturday whenever you let him have the money. You see now what I had in mind, don't you? See, if he don't pay us for 10 years, we'll make uh, $16 on that one loan. Done figured it up. Yeah. Well, if we can get enough m- money loaned out that way, well, I reckon it'll be all right. Oh, well, Finest ain't the only deadbeat in town. I've got some others in mind. I believe I can talk Squire Skimp into borrowing some. <laughs> and you know he ain't going to pay off no loan. We can make interest off of him for years. Yeah, yeah I-, I believe I'm catching on now, Long. Yeah, the longer they keep the money out, the more interest we'll make. Like Uncle Henry Lunsford wanted to borrow $50 Saturday. I had to turn him down. Turned Uncle Henry down? Had to. Why, he never beat a man out of a nickel in his life long. Always been just as honest and upright in all his dealings as he could be. That's just what I told him. I said, Uncle Henry, if I loaned you this money, I know good and well the day it's due, you'll be right in here with the money, and we can't make no money that way. Well, what'd he say? Oh, natural, him not knowing nothing about banking business. He couldn't see my side. Couldn't, huh? Oh, he's supposed to pay it when he's due, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> well, how much can we loan out now, Long? Well, that's just it. We ain't got much in the bank. We got about $400 on deposit. Yeah. And what we got to do is get out here and get some of these other folks to deposit their money with us. Well, I, I got three or four Saturday. Talked them into it. Yeah, most of them was in mill hands, though, and... They ain't got very much to deposit. I got Cedric to put $100 in here. Yeah, I don't know why he don't put the rest of his money in here. He's got close to $2,000 buried summers. Close to 3000 No, no, he give $500 to his mama to buy some clothes and new furniture with. Oh. Give his Paul some money and bought each one of his brothers and sisters a defense bond. Well, good for Cedric. But if he don't put the rest of that money in of his in here, we're going to lose money handling his account. Where, huh? Yeah, he writes too many checks. Twenty-two checks he wrote Saturday. Twenty-two? Yes, sir. Well, has he got any of that hundred dollars left? Yeah, that's a trouble. All twenty-two checks just mount to six dollars and... six dollars and something. For the land sake. Most of them was rode out to Luke Spears' lunchroom. Every time he buys a bottle of soda pop, he writes out a check for five cents. Well... Cashes a check for five cents and plays the pinball machine. Well, I know if he ever learned to write them, he'd just love it. Yeah. Maybe now that he's learned how to write checks, he'll put the rest of his money in here. Likes it so well. I believe, oh, he's a little skittish about putting all that money in here, Long. I don't know why he would be. He knows me and you both knows we're honest. Why, sure. Long as he's noticed, he ought to. Don't reckon he's feared his money won't be safe here in that safe down there. Oh, surely not. Strong as that thing is. I just can't understand what he's waiting on. Yeah, if we could get his money, that gives about $2,000 to loan out. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll talk to him some more, Lon. Tell him to bring it on in here. He ain't taking no chance at all. And, well, whilst I don't like to bring it up myself, Abner, maybe you hadn't thought about it. You ain't never moved your money out here, you know. Huh? I say, you've got just as much as Cedric, and you ain't never moved your money out here to our bank. Well, I'll have a talk with Cedric and see if I can get him to dig up the rest of that money and bring it in here. Yeah, well, what about you? Oh, well, my money's safe. It's in a good bank in there at the county seat. What do you mean, a good bank? Well, don't you think that's a good bank in there? Of course I do. So is this one. But if you ain't got confidence enough in it to put your money in it, how do you expect other folks here in the community to put their money in it? You're a half-owner of the bank. Yeah, but supposing we was to have a bank robbery. Uh, we ain't going to have no bank robbery. Nobody knows the combination to that safe but me and you. Wait a minute, you trust me, don't you? Oh, sure, sure, Lon, but, well, it's just so far into the county seat to get the money, and, well, you know how you lose stuff moving it around that way. You're just trying to think up excuses, Abner. You're going in there in that bank tomorrow and draw out your money and put it in this bank. Well... Mom, I want to see how this bank does for a while first. Well, I'll be dead blamed. Don't even trust your own bank. Well, uh, did, did you put your money in here yet? Other people's got their money in here. Mom, you never answered me. I never heard what you said. I say, have you moved your money? Don't out? try to change the subject. Well, have you? I don't know where the president of the bank's allowed to keep his money in his own bank or not, Ed. Well, why not? Well, it... Like if, uh... Well, in the first place, uh... Take, for instance, 
supposing I wanted to cash a check for myself someday and somebody was to be walking past the window, yonder and see me taking a $10 bill out of the cash box and putting it in my pocket, they might think I was bezzling, sure as a world. No, I'm feared it wouldn't be safe, Admiral. I'd love to, the worst in the world, but I just feared it wouldn't be safe. That's just the reason I don't want to move mine, either. Feared it won't be safe. Well, be honest now, Abner. What, what do you think about it? About what? About the bank. Do you think it's safe? Oh, oh, oh. I'll be dad blamed if I know them. What do you think? Well, I don't know neither. I wish now we'd never started the thing. Yeah. But as long as we're into it, looks like we both got to do it. Yeah. Tell you what, I, I'll move mine out here if you will. Well... All right. I'll do it. Well, good. Now, we can not only tell the folks around town that we got our money in our own bank, but we got a night night watchman, too. A night watchman? Where'd he come from? Uh, Grannies, if I'm going to put my money in this bank, me and you's going to take turn about sleeping down there in front of that safe door of a night. I never know there was so many worries to this bank. Well, you can never tell what will happen next in that bank, can you? And you know it's the same way with headaches, for instance. You can never tell when this disagreeable common ailment is going to come along next to slow you down and to make life miserable. That's why, friends, you should never be without a package of Alka-Seltzer tablets handy. When you take Alka-Seltzer for a headache, you feel better fast. And here's why. The analgesic pain reliever in Alka-Seltzer is in a different, highly effective form. Because it's in complete solution when you take it, it's ready to go to work promptly to ease that aching head. And what's more, when your headache is accompanied by an upset, jittery stomach, as is often the case, Alka-Seltzer offers quick relief for this discomfort, too. So, be wise, friends. Why let a headache or upset stomach make you feel mean and miserable when Alka-Seltzer offers such prompt, pleasant relief? Next time, ask your druggist for Alka-Seltzer. He has it by the package and also serves it by the glass at his soda fountain. 